everybody. Welcome to the Hacienda. Ribbit here. Today we're going to make something easy. We're going to make uh, turkey fajitas. Yeah, we're going to do the easy route. We're going to use this pre-made fajita sauce, which is good stuff. Uh, we've got the leftover turkey here. Uh, Mrs. Ribbit separated the dark meat from the light meat. Um, we're going to keep the white meat for sandwiches, so I'm going to use dark meat in this recipe. And uh, let's go ahead and set it up. Okay, the first thing we're going to do, uh, after all the prep work's done, in a very large skillet with a large amount of olive oil, generous amount, you can use lard, butter, whatever. I like olive oil, so we're going with that. So we're going to add all the vegetables that we've just julienned. And uh, we're going to cook those up really nicely. Um, one thing that I found out here, what I was looking at, this Frontera Fajita sauce, um, I've never tried it before. I decided why the heck not. Uh, apparently it's from Chef Rick Bayless, uh, his line of food. So I love Rick Bayless, his books and his cooking, so this promises to be good. Okay, once the uh, onions and the peppers start getting nice and brown and pretty like this, uh, we're going to go ahead and use tongs and take them out and put them in a bowl for a bit. And now we are going to add the turkey. And, wow, that's more than I thought it was. Alright, that's fine. Uh, so now we're going to kind of brown that a little bit too. Alright, now that the turkey is uh, browning up really nicely, and certainly heated all the way through. Um, we're going to go ahead and add the Frontera uh, Fajita sauce. Let's see if I can open this without making a mess. And we're just going to pour that all over. And we're going to continue to saute it like this for about two to three minutes. After that, we've added the vegetables back in. Um, we're going to mix them through so they get heated all the way through, and then we're done. Let's go ahead and plate it up. All right, so we got some steaming frijoles refritos. We got some guacamole. Let's go ahead and get the uh, fajitas on there. Uh, turkey fajitas. All right. Oh, this looks good. And smells delightful. Alright, get some more of that red bell pepper in there. Looking pretty. Need some onion. Where's some onion? Right there. Get some onion. Alright. There you go. So let's go ahead and build it. And um, then we'll taste it. So to build it, my way, is uh, we definitely have to have some lime juice on there. Because uh, lime juice is ubiquitous to Mexico and Norteño cooking, which fajitas are. Okay. Now, we got that on there. Mm. We're going to get a little bit of guacamole. Put that on there. The beans will be eaten on the side. So let's just go ahead and uh, do something like this and take a bite out of it. Mmm, that was a mouthful. Okay. Mmm. I got turkey, onion, pepper. That stuff is delightful. I highly recommend it. That is a perfect way to use all this leftover turkey we have folks um same for Christmas time everybody eats turkeys in and ham that is really really good thanks for watching people y'all take care